Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to Quincy Ruins. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to pull out our weapon. We're going to hop down here. Come over here. Hop on this roof and then hop down to the road and start heading west. We're going to go to Gunner's Plaza first. Be really careful over here. This is a pretty tough area. We're in a higher level area. Be careful of the irradiated barrels. Sick to my stomach. Watch the moonshiner shed blow up. Walk around this truck and then we are going to crouch. There's quite a few enemies over here so be really really careful. Let's try to get our crit meter built up. Be really careful of the gunners up top. One has a rocket launcher and one has a fat man. So we're going to come along this side here. We're going to jump up. Jump up again. No mercy. That's actually pretty good. We're going to start seeing heavy combat armor because we are a higher level and we're in higher level territory. Gonna backtrack just a little bit. Come over here. We're gonna go up top here. Sweet, we got a level. We can max out our lock picking skill now. Heavy right arm, now we got a left arm and a right arm. There's another gunner just around this corner here. Who's the Shh. Sleep tight, my little angel. Grab this fusion core. And then before we go down the stairs here, we're going to hop up on this ledge. And we're going to get an advantage on the guy that's got the fat man. Another notch for the gun. Holy fuck a moly. Just starting to have fun. 
I don't know. I think that might have been the person with the fat man. It was. I don't know why they shot it over there. Pretty sure we have the heavy left arm. But we'll scoop it up just in case. Guy with the rocket launcher. Let's get it on. Gonna stand up and come over here. You can go in this way if you want to. I do not advise it. There it is. I was like, where's the stairs up? I know there's a stairway up. Come over here. Come back up to the top and we're going to take the elevator down. We're going to crouch and I'm not going to turn on my Pip-Boy lamp for this first section. We will put a level in in just a moment, but we don't really need to at the moment. We're only putting it into locksmith anyways. Oh, take long. Should be some gunners up top here. Move, McCready. The hell are you doing, man? Salute these guys while the other guys are looking for us. I'm feeling eyes on my back. <laughs> That's how we do things around here. Up top is a spotlight. We can take care of that real quick. And then we're going to come up and around here. Take care of another gunner. Should be one more right here. Oh, you son of a bitch. You are lucky. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up that security baton. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're going to go in this door. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Fire. Oh. Careful of the frag mine. Disarm that. There's a bunch of oil on the ground too, so be aware of that. I think I am going to wear some heavy combat armor though. I think we are gonna do that. We're splitting all that, right? Sure thing, McCready, sure thing. Take him down! That's what I call a confirmed kill. Okay, now that we got Ryder killed. You can pick up his hollow tape and the keys. Damn, did they're really not throwing me any fucking stuff. All right, let's go ahead and put a level into locksmith. Now we only need one bobby pin. We don't need any more. We can sell the rest because our bobby pin will never break. Next, what we're going to start leveling up is luck. We're going to put two into luck and then start working on bloody mess. Let's rock. You are seriously fucked. 
You know that? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know that. We can hop off right over here, maybe. There we go. Ah! What a waste of time. I really don't need the heavy arm or left arm or right arm. We're going to come through here and take another elevator going up. Going up. Ground floor. We're going to hang a left here. Then hang a right. Take that gunner out. By the way, there's a bunch of terminals over here. If you want to go in them and read a little bit of lore about Gunner's Plaza, you can. I'm not really worried about it. What the? Mm. What? <laughs> Safety off. I think we have company. Take care of these frag mines. Nothing I love more than standing out in the open, waiting to get shot. Just loot these guys real quick. Oh, left leg. Absolutely. And then... We're going to open up this door, get ready for a fight. Holy shit. Get out of my way, McCready. I heard something. Who's there? Rest yet? Let's go ahead and turn off this radio. So, for some reason, and I don't know why it's continuing to do this, but Wes's hollow tape should be. Um, we will pick that up. That is, I believe, heavy. Um, should be in this safe. But it, it never pops up for me. I have ran this multiple times and it just does not pop up for me. So I don't know if it's bugged or what. But, well, obviously it's bugged. But I don't know why it's bugged. I have not been able to figure that out. And unfortunately, I am playing on the PlayStation 5 version. So there's no way for me to fix that. So hopefully it's not bugged for you guys and you are all able to get the hollow tape. But even in my last walkthrough of Fallout 4, it wasn't here either. So it's just something that Bethesda didn't seem to worry about uh, patching. Let's go ahead and pick up the small guns bobblehead. Yes. That's going to do the same thing as the Guns and Bullets magazines do and give us 25% uh, extra damage to our critical hits. Careful of the handmade tripwire. Over here we got a gunner. Really? Really? Sorry, McGreedy, but you got in the way. We can hop down here. We're going to listen to the hollow tapes um, all at once. I feel like that would be better. You hear that? Then I'm all over this. listening to them one at a time, like as we get them, is what I was meaning. Well, this must have been a great place to relax before everything went to hell. Got 
got some gunners up there. Really? Come on now. Heavy left leg, right leg. Yo, Psst. let's see what you got. Take care of that turret. Now we have a full set of heavy combat armor, which I'll probably go back to Sanctuary after this episode. Uh, upgrade it all and then put it all on. We are traveling with McCready right now because as we kill gunners that are named, he's going to like that. We're going to go out this way. There is a ton of gunners over here. What? Right there is Cruz. Took him out pretty quickly. Oh, big mistake. <laughs> Got her down. Heads up. Yeah! Oh, I was like, you pretty. Oh my god. We just about died, everybody. Down here are some turrets. Be careful with those. That's what I was trying to take care of before I got messed up. You're messing with the bat. <laughs> Over there, get him. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Disappearing? Are you serious? See ya, fool. Gonna go over to Cruz, grab his hollow tape. Take the wrong day to piss me off. I see you shooting over here. Just don't know where. No, I'm not worried about the frag mine. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here to Cruz. Where the hell is this gunner? This shouldn't take long. I think they're right down there. There they are. Can you just die, please? Thank you. Jeez. Another one? Holy moly. Okay, we're going to go inside this room. And we're going to pick up a guns and bullets magazine. There we go. So now we get a, another plus five. Before we, like the bobblehead will give you plus 25. Uh, the guns and bullets only give you plus five critical damage uh, to your uh, critical damage hits. Yeah, yeah, hit <laughs> that. Uh, holy moly. One day I'll get the hang of it, huh? Okay, so over here you can get out. I'm not worried about getting out over there. Let's go ahead and listen to these hollow tapes real quick. Go over to miscellaneous. Go down to Cruz's hollow tape. Looks like the mutants have settled two mics north of here, taking over most of the town. They seem to be concentrated in the old Fallon's department store. I led a squad out a couple days ago to clear them out. We were ordered by Captain West to retreat when our squad was ambushed. <laughs> when we got back, the captain chewed me out in front of the guys and then asked me to see him privately in the old recording studio. After reaming me out for several minutes, he took me off patrol and reassigned me to guard the HQ here. It's just so confusing. I mean, I'll never confront the captain in front of the men, but... What is he up to? Why did he order the retreat and then blame me? Now we will listen to Riders holotape. Cruz got what he deserved. 
Captain West should have stripped him of his rank for what he did. He's soft and it shows in the many leads. We're gunners for crying out loud. We don't retreat. And his punishment? Guard duty on the top floor of HQ. Meanwhile, me and the guys are stationed down here in this dark, cold, shitty basement. First thing tomorrow, I'll have a chat with the captain and tell him how I feel. Who knows, maybe I'll get reassigned and get to see some real action. I'm gonna hop over this ledge, and then we're gonna head south. This is the front of Gunner's Plaza, by the way. Just follow this around. If you want, you can go explore over there and loot some stuff. Totally up to you. Be careful of the irradiated barrels. There's a ghoul right there that we can take out. We're going to go into Sulphic County Charter School. Let's go inside. Got a ghoul's head popping out right over there. Then a ghoul right over there. And then a ghoul right over here. Bring it on! We're going to go inside this green door. Bring in the pain. And then we're going to listen to this hollow tape. Good morning, teachers and students. It is another great week here at Suffolk County Charter School. I hope everyone is getting their costumes together for the annual Halloween festival. I would like to take this opportunity. To remind you that no outside food is to be brought on campus as of this week. This goes for faculty as well as students. We have received generous donations for our implementation of the Nutrition Alternative Based Program. We owe our benefactors strict adherence to the rules they have set forth. Thank you for your attention. This is Principal Hudson signing off. Yeah, I don't care how beneficial a school thinks or nutritious uh, nice a school back. thinks that uh, they're giving my child, like, the food. I will not be like, yeah, I'm just going to give him this pink paste. Eat this. Yum, yum, get you some. Safety off. I think we have company. Won't take long. You can go inside that door if you want to. It's a novice lock. Pretty easy to get into. Let's go ahead and listen to the next hollow tape. Good morning, teachers and students. It is a fabulous Wednesday here at Suffolk County Charter School. The Glee Club is having their seasonal bake sale today. So stop by and show your support so we can send our team to the regional. Remember, actual baked goods are forbidden on school grounds. But they will be selling colorful cups for your food paste. Oh, also, we will be having a school assembly during second period tomorrow on the dangers of strangers by Jangles, the moon monkey himself. Once again, we would like to thank our benefactors from the NAPP program for allowing us to have such a big star come and speak to you kids. We owe our benefactors strict adherence to the rules they have set forth. This is Principal Hudson signing off. Have a great day. 
How are you gonna have a bake sale with no baked goods? It didn't even make sense. Here's these fucking colored cups. I pretend it's something that you baked. We're gonna come over here and go up this elevator. This is a pretty linear area to go through this school. Ground floor. If you want to pick the lock in there, you can. That is locked. Well, it's not locked. It is, but it's not. It's chained, so you can't get through there. You can also pick the lock on that if you want to. I'm gonna open up this door. Now, normally, I try to kill as many ghouls as I can. Dude, McCready, you got to move, man. But I want to show everybody that you can come in here even without taking out most of the ghouls. Alright, we can stand up. And then right here, after we pick up our last Unstoppables magazine, we'll listen to this holotape. Nice. So now we have a 5% chance to avoid all damage from an attack. I used to collect comics like that when I was a kid. Happy Friday all. The NAPP program launched this week with success, but not without problems. I hate to have to throw away your mother's carefully packed lunches, but I am afraid we must put our foot down on this issue. Okay, that's the I am assured all of you will get used to the flavor of the paste. Also, I have been informed that flavor varieties will be on their way pending continued success of the program. How exciting! To those complaining, I will repeat. There are absolutely no psychological or physical side effects from participation in the NAPP. Any observed effect is assuredly psychosomatic and possibly related to a lack of trust in the government. Remember, our participation in the NAPP not only helps our school, but in the long run benefits our nation. Thank you for your attention. This is Principal Hudson signing off. I have a couple of ghouls out here. Also, these are the only ghouls you'll see that are pink. And that's due to the story of the pink paste and all of that, what we just listened to on the hollow tapes. There's some irradiated barrels over there. Be careful. We're going to come out to the road. Over there is a little Easter egg. It used to say, fuck you, whenever you'd open up the door. I don't know if the game's bugged now or not. I don't know. Who knows? But it doesn't say that anymore. Unfortunately. Oh, that's right. We just got a level. Let's go ahead and put that into luck. And then we just need one more into luck and we'll start working on bloody mess. Lots of irradiated barrels over here. We're going to come over here. We're going to kill a Mire Alert Queen. And then we're going to claim this workshop. Be careful of the acid she spits. We're just going to go into this workshop. Claim it and then 
Get out of there. Ooh. That was close. I don't think it would have hurt me much, but still it was close. Some more irradiated barrels over here, so try to stay further to the right of them. Let's crouch, take out this sentry bot. And then over here we got some gunners and super mutants fighting. It's up to you on if you want to kill them or not. I'm going to go over here and kill a couple of them just so we can get the uh, the factory discovered but other than that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my time there's no point Jesus, that guy did not want to die. Then we're going to turn around, and right where this yellow car is, we're just going to walk straight this way. We're going to come back to this road so nobody gets lost. I, I like to try to stick to the roads if I can. But we just want to discover the Quincy Corys. You can get into Vault 88 over there. I'm still debating on if I'm actually going to do that DLC. I would like to, but it's just like there's no substance to it. It's really just it to get like where you can build Vault stuff. I mean, the Vault stuff that you get is really, really cool. But it's... Like, if you're not building a settlement, then it's pointless. Because it's all about building a vault and doing experiments. Okay, before we do anything... Hey. Let's take that person out. You can go into Quincy that way. But I prefer to go over to the left side. And take the side route. Because we have a gunner with a fat man. And let me tell you... That is not fun to get hit in the face with. I know this because it has happened. Well, actually, it's happened in recording, which is pretty awesome. Right here, be careful. Disarm the laser tripwire. There is a rocket launcher that's right down there. If you don't there? disarm that. Oh, shit. Please do not shoot that fat man at me. I think they only got one shot, so... Us killing Baker is going to make McCready love that, by the way. I'm being really, really careful right now. Because there is a guy with a fat man, and he will murder us. Like we're, we're strong, but we're not strong enough to take a fucking mini-nuke to the face. He's going to be right over here. Where is he? There. There he is. Ooh. That was super close. 
because he was getting ready to shoot that. We're about to see Clint. Pretty sure we're not alone. Clint used to be a Minuteman until he betrayed them. It's the whole reason why gunners have Quincy. Could have sworn. Quit moving so I can shoot you. Damn it. There's gunners everywhere. Gunners Plaza is difficult, but Quincy Ruins is way harder. Take out that. Damn it. I have no clue where that person's health is. Well, they're dead, so... Doesn't matter. Like I said, you're most likely going to... Ooh. Be careful. Can we stop throwing grenades, please? I'm gonna send you to hell. Do another grenade, bastard. Oh, arms bleeding pretty bad. Well, I don't know what to tell you, McCready. Maybe don't stand there next to the grenade. I don't know. That'd be a smart idea. You're messing with the best. We're splitting all that, right? Ah, Tessa. Tessa. You're the one throwing grenades at me, aren't you? We're going to come oh, up come here real on. quick. <laughs> Jeez. Where oh, no, you at? You there you are. Hey! The Let's go over here to this radio and turn it off. Gunner down there. At least we're not taking a ton of damage from him. Like I said, we're pretty we're pretty beefy at this point. This shouldn't take long. Damn it. <laughs> they keep moving around. I mean, I get it. It's not supposed to be like a shooting gallery, but Kill them all. Be a little nice if they stayed in one spot. There's no way you made that grenade up here. There is. Holy moly. Dude. You should play baseball. Okay. I think we're pretty much good. Over here, we're going to pick up another Guns and Bullets Bingo. magazine. Over here is a terminal. I'll give you a little bit of lore about what happened in Quincy. Go down over there if you want. We already killed the gunner that was over there. We're going to come down here. We're going to loot Tessa. We got to loot Baker too, but he fell down. So it's not necessarily ideal. Here's Tessa's fist. Okay, Baker's gonna have Tessa's hollow tape. I'm gonna 
come down over here. And I believe he fell over here on the right side somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Oh no, that's Clint. Where's Baker? Right here. Tessa's hollow tape. Too many nukes. Oof. Good thing we did not get hit by that. Let's go ahead and listen to Tessa's hollow tape. I think that was the last of the enemies. We have one more enemy over here. And then we can come over here. Come up and around. You're dead. Oh shit, where did you come from? Oh, I went too far. Sorry. That guy caught me off guard. <laughs> We're supposed to go in here. He threw me off. We're going to go into this police terminal. And we're going to eject Baker's holotape. Let's go ahead and listen to Baker's holotape. Got to go all the way up to the bees. come down straight from Captain Wes. Clint has the command here, and that's just how it is. If you keep running your mouth off, he's going to make an example of you to show that he's still in charge. And why do you think he picked you to deal with those scorps down at Super Duper Mart? Now, maybe you got away with that shit back when you were running with raiders, but gunners stick to the chain of command. Besides, we wouldn't have been able to take Quincy without him, and you wouldn't have that sweet power armor. So get over it. Out. Let's go into the Quincy police lockup. We're going to listen to an Eddie Winters hollow tape. Message to Robert Cooper. Bobby, we discussed this. You hook it up with your stepsister is your own friggin' business. But you talk in your sleep. Look, maybe you babble about baseball or sing show tunes. Or could be you chat about those three bodies Colin O'Malley dumped in the sand trap of Arlington Greens. You want to take that chance? I know I don't. Sorry, Robert. The girl's got to go. Eddie Winter, signing off. Let's go ahead and come over here and then we are going to end the video. This is a great spot to end the video. I want to start by telling Gunner's territory, so we need to be careful. Yes, 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 yes. We know McCready. Calm down. I'm trying to end this video, bud. Alrighty. Now that McCready's done interrupting me, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.